took it. Where were you? I mean, that show. Come on, what was that? Oh, come on. They were friends, produced it, so I had to help out. You know, no big deal. It's called loyalty. Something movie stars sitting in these fancy cars don't know much about. When are you gonna get a cell phone? I don't know. Not my style, you know? Besides, I hear they give you tumors. What is it? How many of these things do you need? You know, I've been looking all over for you. Uh-huh. I got an awkward. What's her name? This girl got herself in jail downtown. We flew back from the coast together. She's, a, she's really a super girl. Uh-huh. So there's a plane waiting for her at Teterboro on me. Yeah, so you want me to go bail out and then take it to the plane? It's Jilly Hopper. Do you know her, the model? She's got that television show, Pussies and Lasers and shit. I know who she is. It's she's that girl spy, I know. Yeah. Oh, she looks like she's a vacuum cleaner, Carrie Jesus. I was flying back. I gave her a ride. She had some sort of fashion shoe. We hung out. Don't you have a girlfriend? I mean, you're not supposed to be where you're not supposed to be. You know, you're going to have to do this for me. Why are you fighting it? Come to my benefit. Oh, please, come on. Do you really need me? I mean, it sounds so... so... Come on, it's getting late. You come, you say a few words about the Constitution, wrongful imprisonment, or else you get someone else to clean up your messes when you just breeze back into town. Are you blackmailing your only client? Hey, we're old men. We're doing favors for each other, that's all. Hey, well, I favor you with a monthly check, I believe. Shalom, big boy. It's because I'm too old to be going up Manhattan South for horny movie stars. We ended up in the wrong place. This girl, she gets around. She likes to play it slumming and it bit her in the ass. Man, you know, you behave like it's 1970 and you're still living in Malibu. Uh, there may be somebody from one of the papers there. <laughs> you're gonna come to my thing at the Palm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, Dr. Publicity in action. <sighs> what, what, what the hell went on last night? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Kind of blurry. Did she give you anything for me? No. Okay, well. 75 G's. That's a year's severance. You fire me, okay? Again? Well, here's the thing. There, there's some talk. People have approached me, some smart people, and they think I can snatch a Horgan Senate seat in the fall. <laughs> you want to be a senator? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get much sleep. Uh, I'm overtired. Uh, 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 okay. A Democrat, of course. One never knows with you. Hey, I'm sure it's funny, but remember this. I go back. I go all the way back to Bobby, to Gene McCarthy. I got some credibility here, man. Okay. <clears throat> you are not seriously contemplating this. What are you going to do, drive around on the bus and kiss babies? Come on, man. You're used to a private jet, a suite at the Carlisle. You live in a fucking hotel, man. I, I don't have to kiss anybody. I, I can go on Nightline and Larry King because of who I am. Well, if you're really serious about this, I mean, if you're seriously thinking of doing this thing, then you're going to need me. Well, what, why, would, why would you drop me now? Listen, if I'm really serious about this, I'm going to need young and energetic people around me. So you can suck them dry. I introduced you to the Panthers. You never met a black man till I took you to Lennox Lounge. You're off the picture. I'm just here to say goodbye. Fourth high speed life of a girl who had it all. Road scholar, TV star. I think they left out Call Girl. She wasn't a hooker. She was just an actress acting. For 30 years, I picked up the pieces after you. Like the man at the circus who cleans up after the elephant. You're just gonna drop me now? Hey, listen to me. Everybody has their time. Now, we're friends. We're very good friends. What do you think about that? You don't want to do anything to spoil our friendship. Hey, you're supposed to be there for me tonight, man. You know, this thing is important to me. 
Uh, before you go, Carrie, I just want to ask one question. You think if Jilly Harper hadn't come all the way to New York with you on your little field trip to an opium den, you think maybe, just maybe, she'd be alive today? What are you saying? Don't forget how much I know. Go on, Carrie, walk out on me. Go on. I think someone killed her. I think I saw it. How about that? Can you just see those post headlines? Starlet's last binge with movie star slash Senator Lothario. Come on, Carrie, you're always gonna need someone to pick up the pieces you leave in your wake. And they have to be someone with no real center, no real soul. Someone who'll do absolutely anything and then cover it up because they're loyal and they believe in the guy. Where are you going to find someone like that? Well, like an Ehrlichman or a Haldeman? Come on. Not Nixon. I'm not so sure about that. I told people you'd be there, man. It's my name on the line.